Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be analyzing the product page formula that huge beauty brands like Fenty Beauty and MAC Cosmetics uses to keep customers returning. I'll be analyzing their product pages to give you guys tips of ways you can improve your own Shopify product page and different sections that you can add to your product pages. Let's go ahead and get straight into this video. First up, we'll be taking a look at the variation of high quality product photos Fenty Beauty uses on its product pages. We're gonna analyze the dynamic product pages that Fenty Beauty has to not only show its products, but also to highlight the qualities of its products. Depending on the products you sell, especially if you sell beauty products, you'll not only want to include photos of your product, but to really elevate your product page, you can include additional photos to highlight the benefits and the qualities of your product. People love to analyze your product photos to get details from the product, in addition to them seeing the product description. I'm gonna give you two tips for ways you can improve your product photos to look similar to this. You want to open Shopify, then open your themes page so that you can go in to customize your website. First up, you'll wanna take a look at your existing product page so that you can see the areas of improvement that you'll want to make. I'm gonna open up an example product that I've added. I've added one photo to this product listing. I'm gonna show you how to create multiple photos for your product, similar to Fenty Beauty. Before we get into that, if you do have a makeup or skincare business and you like this Shopify theme that you see here, this is one of my Shopify themes, which I'm gonna link in the description box below. I have a variety of Shopify themes for makeup and cosmetic businesses. You can quickly install one into your store and you can customize it or make any changes. It can help you to save hours of time from creating your website entirely from scratch, especially if you're unfamiliar with Shopify and with the process of setting up your website. I'm gonna link these in the description box below. To enhance those product photos, on Shopify, you'll want to click products and here you can open up an existing product or you can add a new product. I'm gonna add a new product just for an example. Then under media is where you can add any product photos that you have. Once you uploaded your product photo, you want to click on the photo. And for the first way you can help to improve this product photo, this would be to use Shopify's AI background image generator. So when you click generate, you can type in your prompt for what kind of background you would like to generate for the photo. The background can have a huge impact on your photo. For example, certain products can stand out more to your customer if they're on, say, a darker background or a black background. Once you added in your background prompt, you can go ahead and generate a background. And here's the new background it generated for the photo. I do prefer this photo over the first one. Once you're finished, you want to click the download button just to download that photo to your computer. Next, I'm gonna show you the second way that you can improve your product photos especially if you'd like to list different details and qualities about your product. You want to open up Canva and I'm going to click custom size to make a blank project for these product photos. I've set the dimensions to 1000 by 1000 pixels. You want to click create new design. Once you open the canvas, you'll want to click upload, then click upload files to upload the product photos that you just downloaded from Shopify. You can click to upload that photo onto your canvas and this is where you can begin customizing this photo to display any important product details that you would like on the cover photos. I'm gonna use this product photo from Fenty Beauty as a guideline to create a photo that's gonna list the product ingredients. I'm first going to crop this photo just to resize and reposition it on the canvas. If you need, you can also click edit and then click adjust. And this is where you can change the appearance of the image in case you would like to adjust any of the hues of the photo. You'll want to click text and then upload a text box. And this is where you can begin listing the different ingredients that your product includes. I'm gonna apply a different font. Then I'm just gonna duplicate this text box to begin listing off the clean ingredients. Feel free to customize the fonts to match your product page and your store's branding. I'm gonna click elements and you can search for the different ingredients or just different graphics that you would like to add to your photo. I'm gonna add one of these photos onto the page and then I'm gonna click this icon right here and then I'm gonna round the corner to almost create a circle rounded photo. And I'm gonna repeat that step for the rest of the ingredients. Once you're done, feel free to add any additional elements or changes to that page that you would like. And when you click add page, you can repeat that step by adding more product photos to specify more details about your product. Again, just like huge brands, this can allow you to have more dynamic product photos and people love when they can easily see details about the product on the product photos. Make sure to download your photo in a PNG format 
or a JPEG format. Then back on Shopify, you'll want to open up your product page. Then you can upload that new product photo that you just created. Next, you'll want to make sure to save your product. Then you can take a look at it on your website. Using this method can allow your brand to have stronger product photos. And it also can show your customers important product details on your product photos and not just your description. Feel free to use that Canva method to not only highlight your product ingredients, but also the sizing and the swatches of your makeup. The next product page tip would be to include a related products or a featured products section on your product pages. You'll notice that huge brands do this to promote additional products from their brand. Not only does Fenty Beauty do it, MAC Cosmetics also uses this formula to promote more products and more collections on the product pages. On Shopify, you'll want to open up one of your product pages and scroll to the bottom of your product page, depending on your website, you may or may not already have a related products section. If you don't, or if you would like to customize the exact collection that's promoted at the bottom of your product pages, you'll want to click add section to template. Then you can insert a featured collection. You can retitle the heading. Then next to collection, you can select which product collection you would like to feature. And that's gonna allow you to promote another product collection on your product pages. This can help to increase your average order minimum since people might want to grab one of these products. You can also click on the featured collection. Then you can scroll down until you see the product card. Next to quick add, you can add a quick add button below each of the products so that customers can sort of quickly add the product to their cart. And feel free to even add multiple featured collections at the bottom of your product page just to feature multiple different collections. Also, I know a lot of you guys are brand new to Shopify and it can feel overwhelming trying to figure everything out. I created a Shopify beginners training to guide you step-by-step -step through the setup process. It walks you through navigating the dashboard, setting up payments, shipping and taxes, and also creating your products, pages, and menus. You'll also learn about launch prep, Shopify apps, and some store marketing methods. Plus, I included a 30-page digital planner to keep your store's backend organized so that you have everything you need in one place to launch your Shopify store. The link to the training is in the description box below. And for the last tip, this is sort of similar to the last one I just mentioned. This will be to assign a featured add-on product to your product pages. I noticed that Fenty Beauty does this in addition to MAC Cosmetics. Featuring even just one add-on product can help you to increase your average order minimum. And you want to make it very easy for customers to add this product to their cart quickly. And this can tie in with helping your customers build a full routine. So for example, if you sell lip glosses, your featured add-on product can be a lip scrub or an everyday lip balm. For a quick no-code way that you can add a featured product to your product pages, you're gonna to wanna to open up your product page and on the left side panel, I'm gonna click add section. Then I'm gonna insert a featured product. You want to click on this section. I'm gonna set the desktop media width to small. Then you can select which product you would like to feature. Feel free to further customize this section. You can also choose to show a secondary background. Then I'm just gonna reposition this section so that it is directly below the product information box. This can really help you to push out your store's add-on products. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget, I'm gonna link the Shopify theme in the description box below. It's an editable Shopify theme for makeup and cosmetic stores, and you can install it into your store with just a few clicks. I also have a variety of other types of Shopify themes for makeup businesses as well. The link for where you can shop those will be in the description box. If you're also brand new to Shopify, don't forget to grab my step-by-step -step Shopify beginners training that allows you to learn the full Shopify setup process without any guesswork or confusion.